Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today I am super relaxed, I don't, I barely have on any makeup today, tank top, sweatpants, that's it. I am going to show you a few things that I purchased this week and I didn't want to hold off and I'm going to get started. I got some stuff from Mango, I got something from Levi, Lamarck, Banana Republic, and Nike. So, let's get started. This sweater is super, super cute, guys. I don't know if you guys can see. It's so bright. I don't know why it's so bright in here today. Um, But it's like a pretty Kelly Green zebra cardigan. And they had them for a while. And then it kind of like was out of stock in this size that I wanted. I did want a large because I wanted to wear it kind of like off the shoulder. I could wear it multiple ways. I can tuck it in. I can wear it down. I can wear it off my shoulders. I've seen people completely tuck their cardigan in and have it completely off their shoulders. So it really just depends on how you want to wear it. But this is just to show you how it fits my frame and you guys know six feet tall over here and this is how this one fits my frame and let me see how much this was this was I don't even think it was more than 40 bucks because I think at the time they had a sale let's see of course they don't put the price on here but very cute nonetheless. It's kind of like mohair a little bit. Well, it is. Um, so I got a large in that. Just to give myself some room to do other things with it, you know? So let's put this here. And then, I don't think I ever showed you guys the denim jacket from Levi. I did get this in an extra large. Really, really, really nice. I wanted something that was oversized. I didn't want to pay for the cape version, which is also nice, but this will suffice. Okay. I wanted it pretty big so I can just kind of wear a hoodie under it if I wanted to. I could wear it as a jacket um definitely as a jacket because it's really thick it's not it's like a really thick denim it's a really thick denim so it really feels like a denim jacket um the buttons are pretty like pearlish color i thought this was a men's jacket but i'm not too sure but super simple super cute Affordable. I think this was only 70 bucks. So that's a plus. 70 over 720. The Kate one was was, <laughs> was uh 720. And my Lamarck jacket. This is gonna be quick. I'm just kind of running through everything quickly. Because it's not more so a styling video. I just wanted to show you guys when I buy things how they actually fit on my body when I get them. I'm going to button it up because you guys know you cannot buy something and it doesn't button. If it doesn't button, it doesn't fit you. So this is perfect. It hits my knuckle area here, the sleeves. And this is how it looks from the back. Okay. Super chill. Super cute super fancy yeah I know I love me some Lamarck jackets and I have one two three this is my fourth one I want one more and then I'm good on Lamarck <laughs> and the other one that I want is like a, a camel color and that's because I chopped you know I cut the other one that I had that was in a camel color so yeah, so I got those jackets 
And let me show you the bag that I got from Mango as well. This is a really nice tote bag for me to travel with, you know. Um, suitcase, tote, and I'm good to go. It's very roomy. It is leather, but it's like a like a crackled leather. It's giving me patent leather, but it's actually 100% leather. Let me open it up. Let me show you that. Really spacious on the inside. I'm gonna throw this out anyway. Just very spacious on the inside. Great. Really nice bag. Now it wasn't cheap. Okay, so let's talk about the price. <laughs> the price for this was $2.99. And they have a red one. And I should have gotten the red one when it was on sale. And I did not. That's what I do. I always wait till the last minute and then something is gone. But this is a really good size. If you're looking for a tote that doesn't have like any logos or anything, definitely check this one out. It has a zipper and it has two straps. This strap and then the shorter one. So if I wanted to wear it down, I definitely could wear it down if I wanted to. So that's why I actually really, really like it. So this is what's gonna be worn when I travel, guys. All right, this, I'll link this too. It's simple, the zipper is here in the center. Really nice, nice bag. Mango has really good stuff, guys. So don't sleep on them. Um, I don't like to leave a mess, but we're gonna pick up this, uh, <laughs> this paper. <laughs> Let's pick this paper up, guys, and pop it inside of this plastic bag. See? Clean as you go. All right. So now let's get into what I bought from Banana Republic. Just two items. And I actually got these from the outlet. I'm not going to try the dress on. But the dress is so cute. It's a, just a slip dress and like a pretty burnt orange. I did get a size medium. Maybe I will put it on, but I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. I'll, I'll pop in a, a video with me with it on, all right? Because I have on this colorful bra and stuff, um, but it does have a nice little slit on the side. So, for those of you who love slip dresses, definitely give them, check them out. Hold on, because I can never do this properly. Give them, oh my gosh. <laughs> I always do this wrong. Well, anyway, hopefully when I get it on, I won't have this, this, this struggle. Um, yeah. Yep. Nice little dress. Super cute. A nice little slit right here. It's coming up really bright on camera, but... It's not super bright. It's a nice muted color. And then the top, I just got another white button up shirt. And I actually got this from the men's section. It's a slim fit, untouched, untucked shirt. I don't know, I guess that means you can wear it out. I don't know. <laughs> but I actually got a 2X in this. And I tried it on in the store. And I got it 2X because it was a slim fit. But I wanted it oversized. So it's different from my other shirt. You know, you can tie these up if you want to. These are great. Like, actually, this material, it's not really a linen. But it's giving me some sort of, you can't even see it. Some sort of detailing on it. But I like it. So this is the slim slim fit so and it's probably so bright in the camera I don't know why today everything is just it's just so bright in this room all right so that's this let's grab another hanger 
from here. Let's put that up here. All right. So we got a dress, three shirts, a bag, and let's show you guys the main. I got some stuff from Amazon too. I'm going to show you guys that as well since it's here. And I got a pair of sneakers, guys. Guys, I am not even a hard body like night person, but I just had to have these. And let me show you guys what I got. These are probably the only other sneakers that I like of Jordan's. Child, I'm not a sneaker person, but I had to have these. Look. Oh. So nice, right? Look at them. I'm gonna come closer so you guys can really get the... And the color is not coming up because it's... I don't know why it's so... It could be how I have my camera today, guys. I have no idea. But I know it's... I, I probably did something today and can't figure it out. So these are the Jordan 1. Jordan 1's the retro OG color um, um, style. And I think it is size 8. And I'll say this. I am, I got big feet, but women's shoes, tip, women's sneakers typically in a size 10 fit me so big. So I always end up getting a nine and a half. But when it comes to my shoes, I have to completely size up. And I'm thinking because men's sneakers are wider, I don't know, maybe women's sneakers are longer. They just, they I always have so much room to where they're bending in the front. I got these in a size eight. And this lady told me that these are not all day sneakers and I didn't know what she meant by that. But I think she meant because this little part right here in the front of the sneaker, it is so freaking bright guys. This little part right, oh this is killing me. Um, Right here, there's some stitching here. I do feel like that could potentially bother my foot, but you guys know me. I'll figure something out. But the shoe is fine, I still have room really really nice sneaker i'm definitely when i style these up i'm going to show you guys how i style these up and i have so many looks in my head to do this so right now i'm just chilling with them until i figure out where to get the strings that i want from them because i do want like orange strings and that's it super cute and super simple i'm going to show you guys what i got from amazon too and, and this is just because if you ever decide to like travel somewhere. Um, so this is like an all-in-one haul. <laughs> I purchased this iWalk charger. It's like a portable charger. And another charge, not a charger, an adapter for, let me just open them up. Let me show you guys. If you guys are thinking about the iWalk. So the reason why I got the iWalk in white Let's fix my brazier because I know you guys don't want to see that. I'm really chilling today. Like, you guys look, I don't have on pajamas. But here's the eye walk. It's just a little piece here. And this is what you will be sticking, of course, into your phone. All right. And then it comes with the little thing for the plug. So you have to get your own, um, what is that part called? The part for the for the wall. Um, yeah, so it just comes with this. This is kind of bootleg because it's white. I mean, it's black and then this is white. The white one was cheaper. So keep that in mind. And let's see. And the adapter. I'm gonna try these out eventually and then this I think everybody should have one of these especially when you travel let's see um, how do you open this it's the subline where why is it I can't even get this open 
Oh, maybe it's through here. This is not easy. How are you supposed to really open this? <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard to get this open. Like, the way it's tucked in here, it's like you have to rip the box. I guess it's for safety. I mean, protection. All right, so here... This is for when you are traveling, all right? I remember going to the Qatar first and I was like, oh my God, I don't have a charger. And I had another one, but it was, it kind of got destroyed. So now I have this one. This is so freaking dark. I mean, bright in here. I got this one here. Now this, you can, what does this say? It said it comes with a spare fuse. I don't even know what, what. I mean, it's not in the box, but maybe it's like, I don't know. All right, so basically on the sides, you have the three things that you would slide so your particular plug could come out. So here's one, and that is US, right? And then to bring it back in, you press the button on this side, I'm assuming. Yes, right? And then for the UK, come on. Oh, it has to be all the way in, guys. So here's the UK. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. All right, so that's the UK. So let's press that button, get it back in. And here is Europe. All right, and then again, the US. So this is good to have, you know, all of them on one and yeah. So you will plug that in and then your plugs will go into here. So it also comes with, I'm kind of close to the camera guys. It comes with, which is pretty cool, like where, you, where the compatible countries and stuff. So this is something I'll just keep along over here. And that is it. So the highlight of this video would be my sneakers and my Lamarck leather coat, which I put back already. It's not, well, it's kind of the same. Yeah. If I decided, it's a lot of green, but it'll look really, really nice together. What, like some orange strings or something? Maybe some army pants? I don't know. Just kind of like get creative with it. Um, you know, sometimes you gotta make sure that when you're hanging your stuff back up, that it's not like pulling anywhere because you could easily mess your leather up. Something is pulling here and I don't know what it is. But I probably, probably because it was sitting inside of that box for like a week or so. But that's it guys, that's all I have today. I got a few more videos coming for you guys. Um, and I think you guys are gonna be really excited when they do come. I'm excited, so thank you guys for joining today. If you stay this far in the video, make sure you are subscribing to the channel. I am almost there guys. I do not mind the slow growth. And that is because even though it's been over a year, like. I'm still really trying to get used to this, okay? I still am. I'm better with talking to you guys on camera, but just quality and stuff and just making sure I'm bringing the best content to you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel, staying to the end, hitting that bell notifi notification, following me on Instagram and TikTok, all that good stuff. 
But if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my personal service, personal style services, Coco Styles NY. And you guys know I am on tick 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 tock. Um Coco Styles.